this for special effect it's a UK charity for disabled gamers they make specialized controllers so they can play games, play games. Um, uh, if you want to donate to the cause it's justgiving.com forward slash fundraising forward slash martin dash mccurdy that's m-e-r-t-i-n dash m-c-c-u-r-d-i-e and tonight i'm joined by peter watts all right peter hello all right we're so we're just trying to take over <laughs> uh, we're just doing a exhibition trying to take out this uh engines he's very angry he, he's went and knocked me down <laughs> the bottom um, and with his yeah, fish, he's I pretty angry at the moment. Oh, I, think I'm, I forgot I've got to put my bow away. So, uh -oh. um, so he's, we're, he's we're actually going to try and do a bit of a live review of this game tonight because Peter's played Monster Hunter played. like a lot. Have you played all of them or quite a lot of them? I've I got into Monster Hunter uh, just when it was on the Wii, and then more so on the Wii U when it was bought out as a three ultimate. Um, I've put in probably about a thousand hours in total yeah. on Monster yeah. Hunter. So yeah, you could say I've, so, I've played a lot of Monster Hunter. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so this is my first Monster Hunter game. Um, I don't know, I reckon I'm maybe 40, 50 hours in. So I've been really enjoying it and we've played, you know, quite a bit together. Um, I mean, I've, I've, I love action RPGs and and that so I'm not being completely lost you know what I mean but there is a lot to learn there is an awful lot with with Monster Hunter for learning it's very it's very 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 off-putting when you first play it because you get this feeling that you're never going to learn it all and it's too much busy work and yep. It's yep. Much, this version goes some way to making it a lot more user-friendly and a lot more accessible yeah um, definitely but it's still I agree with that that I've found it not too difficult. You know, I've played quite a lot myself, so, you know, just single player. Um, and I haven't found it too difficult to pick everything up. Having said that, Having said I've that, played the Souls games and Bloodborne, and there's a lot of kind of similarities. You know, th th are. those games are kind of inspired by Monster Hunter, so. Yes, I think one of the key things with Monster Hunter is it, it isn't a button masher isn't the sort yeah. of game where you can go yeah. in and just play it like you would Streets of Rage or, or yeah. Double Dragon or something yeah. um, and I think a lot of people want that instant gratification they want to go in and yeah. beat up giant yeah. monsters and feel really cool and it won't let you do that it, it will make you earn every single kill okay. there we go I've just got the energy okay. down which is good but don't I want to go and play with our friends? We've, um, we've been trying to catch this or trying to knock out this Angie and a, a, a Rathalos uh, just came along and uh, yeah. Yeah, but, uh, had a bit of a yeah. turf war. I, 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 I just switched to my focus <laughs> to him because um, I'd rather kill him. <laughs> yeah, Which was, can. And it was quite um, good timing. It's, it's like, going to be quite, oh, quite <laughs> difficult. So we're sort of dividing and conquering at the he's moment. He's still a fair old challenge for me. He's, he's probably going to cart me again in a minute because he's stunned me. <laughs> right, well I've got some life powder uh, and I'm going to come along and save you. Right, I need eat. to get... Because he's poisoned me and all. And I forgot to get more antidotes. I've got herbal medicine, so... Use those. Use those. I thought I'd pack life powder, but I have Yeah, so as, as I was yeah, saying, so like, um, with, with Dark Souls and even, like, RPGs like Skyrim and things like that, you know, in terms of, like, your right, item management and things, and um, there's a lot of kind of similarities there. It makes it easier to pick up. Um, I, d I don't know yeah, if it would be so good for, like, if, if you've never played an RPG before, you know what I mean? You might be a bit lost I'd with this game, and I, I don't think it does yeah, the best job in think, introducing you. Yeah, what I what I found as someone that plays has played a lot of Monster Hunter is that we have a culture where people like to buy a game, they they'll rinse it over a month, they'll try to get like yeah. maybe 50, 60 yeah. hours out of it, and then they part exchange 
for the next game. Yeah. Um, and so a lot of people yeah. are trying their best to blitz through Monster Hunter, get through the campaign, see the story, and then they want to get rid of it. Yeah. If you're the sort of person that plays a game like that, you're probably not going to get on with Monster Hunter because it, it's a bit no, like Destiny. No, definitely you know? not. No, it, no. It's meant to be played It's a, a game lot, as a service, I, you know, isn't it? It's... Yeah, yeah. It's not supposed yeah. to be kind of yeah. rinsed and then something that you're gonna play and you you you're gonna keep playing and, and leveling at, up. And and it, and yeah. yeah, and, and if you, you yeah. try to if you try to steamroll through the story, you'll soon get stuck because it wants you to be a bit more patient. It wants you to learn yeah. its systems, and you won't you won't go any further than you'll hit a roadblock um, because you're you're not taking time to play the game properly. Um, and I've already seen that a lot of people chipping off Monster Hunter because it's not for them because they want to play it like Call of Duty or something like that and get through yeah. it, play it, get rid of it. And, um, it Hang on, I'm just going to throw out. my my phone in <laughs> the hole. It keeps ringing. Um, but for <laughs> and those it's my mum. Like she, 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 she'll keep ringing, ringing, ringing <laughs> all the time. <laughs> Yeah, she so, thinks yeah, it's her phone's not working phone. when I don't answer the phone. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, you've—I mean, you came to it quite fresh, and I think you've—it's clicked for you. You've got it. Yeah. You understand yeah. It. Yeah. 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 And as I say, yeah. I think it's because like I, I get kind of RPG yeah. mechanics and things. Um. Yeah. As you yeah. were saying, you don't, like you don't level up in the usual sense in Monster yeah. Hunter. You know, yeah. it's not. You don't sort of start at level one with amnesia and then yep. pick up a band of friends yep. and, and go through and gradually become sort of level 100 where you can take on the sort of uber boss. There, yep. there is no sort yep. of levelling yep. in the normal sense. You, you get better by playing better. And you can go on yep. YouTube and on Twitch and see videos of people that are playing against top level monsters with no armour and the worst weapons. And still yeah, playing yeah, really yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. Just like can kind of dark the game... people do that with Dark Souls. They do yeah, it with no exactly. armor and yeah. They yeah. Effect, forget what it's um, called. It's the one yeah. where you're in your pants running about with a blooming stick or yeah. whatever it is. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Where well, they're one hit death, basically. Um, and they're yeah. so good at it yeah. that yeah. they can yeah. avoid and they know how to dodge and evade and do all these amazing things. Um yeah. Monster Hunter yeah. Is, is that sort of game. You you don't have the same sort of progression. Progression comes from loot drops, um, yeah. which aren't all random. You can you can gear the game towards giving you the kind of drops that you need by fighting monsters in a certain way, by cutting off their tails or breaking their heads and doing certain things, which is all a way of kind of teaching you how each monster is different um, because they don't all play the same way as you're finding. Flying monsters are very different from the more grounded ones. Oh, yeah, ones that yeah, yeah, you. like... And um, yeah, you, you need a different strategy for, depending on the monster. It's not just the case of button mashing, as you were saying. You, you have to learn what the, the, the monster's the strengths and weaknesses yeah. are, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And, and a, key, a key thing in Monster Hunter, which I really enjoy, and I think people do come to appreciate, there's no health bar yeah. in the monsters. Yeah. You learn yeah. when the monsters I like are dying that, yeah. because they they start to look visibly damaged and they look they look tired they start to drool they start to get frustrated they might start getting into a fit of anger because they're getting upset that you're hurting them um, and you learn all these things you learn these tales you learn to look out for things and it makes you a better hunter yeah yeah well, th well, this is it. I wouldn't really like it if there was health bars everywhere. I mean, you can you imagine if all of these monsters had health bars now? It'd be, it'd be a mess. So yes. yeah, I, I really like it. Yeah. It's a lot more clean looking. Um, and the big difference from older Monster Hunter games is obviously the graphics. Yeah. Um, the graphics yeah. are a, a huge leap up from from the Wii oh, U, yeah. from the 3 ds oh, yeah. and things. It's not to say that the gameplay's changed that much. Because you'll see yeah. to those Monster Hunter veterans yeah. and it's still pretty similar. There's just a lot more vegetation, there's a lot more gradient in the floor, there's a lot more things to climb up and to, to jump off of and to hide behind. And but in the essence it's still the same game. So a lot yeah. of people like myself are really worried that the move to the big consoles, to the, the faster, the better, more powerful systems 
would would be a, a change in the whole gameplay systems as well and that's not the case it's it's the same monster hunter uh, it's yeah. always been and yeah. I, capcom should be applauded for bringing in new audiences for the game as well as making yeah it absolutely i mean it worked players. with me because like i looked at it before when it was on um like 3ds and wii and and, and what have you but I ne I've never took the plunge, and this one sold me. You know what I mean? I wanted to try yeah. it, and I'm glad I, I did. Yeah, definitely. I have to say, I do think there is a big difference between the Western and the the sort of the Japanese market, and that they're not quite so concerned by the graphics of something. Uh, that that the Switch is a massive success in Japan because graphics are not really the reason people get a console. It's not for the for it to look great. You know, they 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 are. They're quite happy to play RPGs. Oh, it's quite basic pile. graphics. Where is it? It came up. In and, um, but in the, here in the West, we are we are very we are keen to have our 4K display. We do want to have that kind of that push for games to look better. And Monster Hunt looks amazing, doesn't it? It's a, it's a very yeah, very it does. It, game. it looks very very good. Yeah, yeah, the graphics are mind blowing. So it, it, it kind of so it's brought a lot of new people in on that. On that, your mum's still trying to get hold of you. Isn't it? That's my wife actually <laughs> this time. You know, we should have done this stream at five o'clock, mate. We, there was nothing happened for the first hour. Life gets in the way. It I'm always does, you. doesn't it? it? <laughs> um, so, I mean, for me, uh, I, I've all, I miss the portability. I have to say, I've got, I've got the Japanese version of Monster Hunter on the Switch. Oh, God, I'm um, going to have to answer. Which... Gonna... Oh, okay, sorry yeah, about this. Oh, sorry about this. Hello. Hello. Hello? Huh? Because I'm busy streaming the new. I'm doing my thing. Right, I need to go. Right. Bye. 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 Oh, fuck. Yeah. You need to bring it in. I'm busy the new. Right. She's outside in the car. She knows I'm doing this. She's at it, I'm telling is you. She, it, is she it. quite understanding or has she lost you to Monster Hunter? No, I think, I think she's oh, taking the mic, mate. <laughs> I think that's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> she, she, she does that. <laughs> right. Um, um, hang on, where the hell have you gone? I've lost you now because I was doing that. I'm trying <laughs> to find that. this rough loss. There's a rough loss on the map. Yeah. I'm trying to get up to yeah. it. Oh, um, we need, we I mean, really baby Jagras is still really. after me. Go away. Um, so, so what I was saying was this... Um, I've got this Japanese Switch version, and the portability of Monster Hunter was always a big pull for me. Um, yeah. Playing it on the train, yeah. you can go for a hunt, you can just go and pick up the, the materials you need while the bus or something. And I do miss that from these larger, ver these bigger console versions. But what you lose in portability, you gain in the sheer scale of it and the ease with which you can team up with people. Yeah, the, the fact that it yeah. is much easier to go online, although um, generally the Xbox version has had problems. And yeah, there were I was going to say that. You probably don't need to go into that. too much about it, but it's still not great, and it's weeks later. And I've got both versions, the PS4 Pro one and the Xbox One X version. And the, P the PlayStation version is leaps and bounds ahead. The, the, at the moment, they've got the um, Street Fighter V exclusive thing going on as well, where you can play as Ryu. Um, if you've got yeah. Street Fighter on your yeah. hard drive. Um, oh, why is that, oh, is that it's, exclusive? Is it? I didn't know it was exclusive. I think it's a time. I think it's a time of launch. Yeah. Oh, and, just and time. It, it just yeah. worked from day one. From day yeah. one, you you, yeah. you logged we, in. We, we, well, this is it. It only came out on PS4 in Japan. Um, you know, they they advertised. Oh, you can cross play with with Japanese people. Well, I can't. I can't crossplay with them. Yeah, um, and, and but it's getting better. Where is this blinking rust loss? Yeah, it's flying all over the shop. Yeah. It is getting and better. It, yeah, it's getting better. And they've sort of said what you need to do is fire up because for those that don't know Monster Hunter, um, if you want to join a game, you're supposed to be able to kind of meet up in a lobby, which is called a gathering hub, and then you go off on missions and yeah. things is together. It like the and tower that, and that destiny. That can only tower. really. Yeah, that can only really work if you use Xbox Live at the moment. He keeps flying to join a party. <laughs> Whereas what's supposed to happen is you join a lobby and that lobby should be full of players that you join that are all doing their own thing. 
and you can jump in and out of their missions and their game. Yeah. Doesn't work that yeah. way though, unfortunately. Um, no. Nope. And you, and you nope. can you can start your own solo mission and then open it up for multiplayer for other people to join by firing a flare in the air. But it's as we found earlier on the stream, it doesn't always work. No, it doesn't. Even though no. we're in the party, the, you the can't only find the other person's game. The, the, the only <laughs> uh, way you can join someone's game on the Xbox that that works um, is if we go to the gathering hub. We we join. I, I like I joined your session. Went we went and met at the gathering hub and then started a quest. That's the only way to do it now. It doesn't come up. Yeah. Um, we your quest if you're in the if you're in the base. So, are you um, are you here you fighting this to... Rathalos? Uh, no, I've gone after the Anginath that tried to do a run ah, earlier right. to get my <laughs> revenge on it. Um, he's having a turf war with um, a Jaguar at the moment, and he's throwing him all over the shop. So the great thing with Monster Hunter, and this is new, um, yes. you didn't get it so much in the older version, is the ecosystem feels alive like. You literally will have the monsters come in and kind of beat up the other ones to say, I'm bigger than you, I own this land, you're in my turf. And, um, and it can change the course of a fight. You could be losing um, and then have a rattle loss turn up and kick the monster's ass that you were fighting. And, and yeah, take half yeah, of his energy yeah, that is you. really cool. Like when, when the monsters fight each other and then you can kind of use that to your advantage. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I've just caught up with this you. is a phenomenal game. It looks fantastic. It's, it's fun to play. It's challenging. You know, I like a good challenge in my games. Um, yes, it's uh, very, it is very challenging. I, don't, I think the low rank. If, if it's too easy, it's boring to me. Um, yeah. Well, I was going to say, do the, you want to bounce out of here and go after the... Um, yeah, should we go for the Diablos? Because that's a hard, Diablos, that's a hard yeah. mission. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're um, we're going to so the I'm going to leave. Want to abandon I quest, or can we go from the? I, we, we have to return um, from exhibition. From, from exhibition, right? Yeah, we'll go yeah. to the um, the gathering hub then. We'll, we'll probably have to go there, we'll meet up, there. start the quest. Yeah, I'll we'll have to start it, and you join me, kind of thing. Um, yeah. So, yeah. So. I think if if you're after a game that's that's that it's not gonna be something that you're gonna play for a couple of weeks, fin you know finish the main story of and then trade it in. If you want to pl keep a, a game that you can keep playing, that offers tons of replayability and and um, free content uploads. Depth. You know, Capcom yeah. give free free, free updates. There's a, yeah, there's a new monster that's coming soon, which is well known to Monster Hunter fans. It's called Devil Joe, um, as affectionately known as the Giant Pickle who um, is a, a very personable, it's oddly very likeable monster that's this yeah. massive yeah. steamroller of a monster that has its own theme tune. So when he comes bouldering into the screen, the music all changes and, you know, Devil Joe's around. Um, yeah. And we can't yeah. wait. I, I'm, it's kind of cool, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, I'd be looking forward yeah, to that. We, we can't wait for him to turn up because it's always good fun when Devil Joe comes along. Um, good yeah. fight. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and that will be how they'll do it. They'll do content updates. They'll link in and, and do free armor quests so that you can look like Chun Li or Blanca or um, yeah, Dante yeah, that would be and Devil May Cry. Well. And, yeah, um, and they've done that before on the Wii, on the Wii U on the 3DS um, with Generations and with Double Cross and, and, and these versions that have been out. There's always been for a good six months, each month a big content update. Um, so it's a real shame to hear people saying, oh, I've done the campaign, I'm going to get rid yeah. of Monster Hunter. Yeah. Because it, it, it kind yeah. of defeats the point of playing. It does, yeah. 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 Do it's that, not, not really that not kind really, of game. No, yeah. it, it, it's really not. Um, but then I guess people that play Call of Duty will say, why buy Call of Duty if all you're going to do is play the solo campaign and never touch multiplayer? Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. people play games for different reasons, but Mo Mo Monster Hunter is designed to, to not just be a 50-hour game. It's, it's got hundreds of hours of, of playability in it and, and, and gameplay if you want to go down the rabbit hole. If you don't, yeah. you can easily yeah. complete the whole... You can do the low rank stuff because the game's split into sort of like easy and hard. 
and it's got almost like two different two different campaigns. Low rank campaign, you're coming to the end of yourself. Um, yeah. That, that that took me around about. Bearing in mind, I was teaching people to play probably about thirty hours, and then high rank is probably that again. If you want to start doing lots of other bits and bobs and playing around, you've probably got about fifty sixty hours. On there, yeah. I know some people have just steamrolled through it and done it, all of it in 40, which you could do, um, but then you're probably not exploring properly and you're not probably building up a good armor set and weapon set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but you can do it. I mean, I'd um, say that this, say that this um, has, has got more... I think it's got more going for it to keep you in, interested. And uh, say with free updates rather than paid DLC, like, like something like Destiny. Something you know like what I mean? Because like, I really enjoyed I, I, Destiny. I really enjoy I'm talking about when it when it first bought, I kind of dropped off. Mm. Yeah, you know, it was just doing the same over and over again. Um, and obviously yeah. the DLC is very expensive, whereas this is free yeah. updates. So I think it's going to coming back for months and months and. Um, okay, well, do you want to? No, you're not. You're not in my. Yeah, hub, I'm, I'm not sure. no, I'm not, mate. I just I stopped by the workshop just to see if I can, you know, upgrade anything and make sure I've got my stuff. Right, I'll go to Gary and Hub now. I was gonna say, but we were busy talking and that, so <laughs> I'll just come now. <laughs> and uh, that's all right. I'm gonna up. take the opportunity. So I just for those for those I that just, might be listening or watching, the, the the main loop of Monster Hunter goes around. Oh. Preparing for a hunt, hunting, yeah. getting yeah. loot drops, and then working out what you can, what new weapons or armor you can build or upgrade, to make you better at hunting. Um, and there are, I think, sixteen different types of weapons. Some are melee, some sort of more kind of like long range kind of guns or at our bows. Um, the one I'm using at the moment actually is a support weapon that gives buffs. It's a hammer. Um, some are large swords. Um, some are very cringe daggers that you spin round with. Um, there's a lot of variety, and they're all very, very, very different in terms of what you, what combos you can do and how you learn to fight. They all offer something different in when you're in a hunt. Bearing in mind you can team up with four players, you can have a good synergy between those that are firing from afar and wounding yeah. the monster and putting yeah. hits on it. Yeah. It's, it's good are... if you, if you've, um, you know, even the two of us now, you've got your. Um your horn and I've got a bow, so that's quite a good combo for us, isn't it? Yes. Absolutely. Let me just, um, oh, I thought I brought the life say. powder with she me. Have I forgot to bring the life powder. I need to find what I've done with it. There it is. Let's bring the life powder along. Oh yeah, I'm going to have a mini. Oops, sugar. Oh, I'm beating. Ah. <coughs> um, yeah, if you, when you join, go to the central camp. Because it's, it's just up from there, right? Yeah, he's a, yeah. <laughs> um, he's a toughie. He's because he likes to bury in the sand. Um, he works around and he charges. He's like a Baroth, which is an earlier monster, but much faster, much more aggressive. And he hits about twice as hard, which means two hits and you can cart. And the way Monster Hunter works is once you've carted twice, if somebody else faints and you faint by losing your vitality, yeah, game over yeah, because you yeah. share Probably your life. Just to explain when, when when Pete says cards, you you get taken back to the camp, and so obviously it takes you a bit time to to get back to the monsters, and actually the the missions are time. Are explaining indeed. what carton means, you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah, cart is basically a bit of life. Yeah, yeah. You faint and get carried yeah. away, um, and you you have. You have two lives, really, and then any deaths or any more faints cancel the whole mission. So, it, when you've got four players, sometimes, um, you can all die at the same time because a monster charges and hits all because you're all standing around each other. And you all die. Yeah. It's game over in one go. And that, that can happen on the higher rank levels that you can, you have to prepare for a monster before you go. So, making sure you've got traps, that you've got potions to restore your health, that you've got potions to give you extra armor buffs and stamina buffs and all sorts of things. There's a lot to yeah. think about, but yeah. it, 
uh, the best thing to, with Monster Hunter is to play like you are with someone that's played a lot of it before and can talk through a lot of these mechanics. It demystifies yeah. it a little bit. Yeah. Um, it doesn't do a good job, Monster Hunter, of teaching you how to hunt properly and what to bring with you. Um, um, generally, you have to go on wikis. You have to go on videos. There's some videos from people called La Hunter or Arak, kind of tutorials and breakdowns yeah. of things to be aware of. Yeah. Um, and it's well worth, if you are new to Monster Hunter and you want to get into it, going down that hole, looking for those things and really swatting up because it will make you a much better player online yeah. and, and, and everybody benefits from that knowledge that you get from taking time to learn that little bit more because there's nothing worse than um, trying to trap a monster and being with someone that isn't that everyone else is trying to trap it and they will just knock the monster out, lose the trap because they don't, they haven't the systems, they haven't learned the best way to, to play. Um, and you, yeah. it comes with knowledge coming, and that generally everyone on Monster Hunter is quite. I find the community is not as toxic as you get with some of the more competitive stuff. No, generally, well, well, I was going to say, like, I would, I would recommend that book group uh, you invite me to. Is it Monster Hunter World? Or is community it just Monster UK. Hunter? What is yeah, it? Monster Hunter yeah. Community UK. Yeah, really helpful. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so if you go yeah, on Facebook yeah. groups for that. Um, really helpful, really great community. And there's what there's about a thousand members or something, isn't there? There's a lot. And, and people will are aware that the world name and people are learning, and that they might yep. make mistakes, and they're happy to help. Um, yeah. When you get into the it's, high it's rank, it's quite levels, like the Dark Souls. Want, they're that level quite one. good at helping people, aren't they? It's, yeah. it's a community but, that way. But like with anything, once you start going up the ranks and you're on to much higher level monsters. Yeah. Uh, are, that people are you joining my quest? Some, for, are you in your box? Uh, yeah. You in your box? All right. Let me just go and join your quest. Um, people will be much, much less forgiving as you go as you start playing it for for to the higher rank. If you can kind of newbie, newbie issues, um, and mistakes. Yeah. But when you yeah. first start, everybody in my experience will will help you. Here we are. Oh, right, I'm, I'm just going to take some oh. raw meat so I can make some more steaks. Did you do the southwest camp? Um, Central camp, mate. We want to go Central to because you can see him on the actually because it's a story question. See him, see see where his yeah. marker yeah. is up the top. Yeah, yeah, it's just straight right, up so from before... that camp, mate. Brilliant. So I am gonna say I'm ready to go. Um, don't right. remember, don't just run off. Let me make sure I buff you with my hunting horn before we do anything. Um, do I want seeds? Uh, yeah, you could do with demon drug and um, I want to take as much skin. as I. Can. Life powder. Yep, life powder. Uh, right, okay. three of them. Powder, that's the poison one, isn't it? Oh, I'll take me antidotes just in case. One of them blooming things that poison you, you know, them plants. Um, right, I've got poison meat and tinged meat. Do you think they'll be any good? Uh, no. I, I I think Diablos is, is no. going to eat. I think we'd be good then. <laughs> really, to be honest. We're good? I'm good. Yeah, yeah. well, so oh, the first thing we'll yeah. do. Do you want my pitfall trap or not? No, no, don't worry. We're, we're not probably going to be able to trap him just to slow him down. Yeah, we'll use the yeah, shop we, trap. We, right, okay. We, for this one, I think we just want to break parts. Ready? I'm ready. Yeah. Let's go. I've only got is um, it power ammo gotta press Y. Oh yeah. Always forget that. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, because w w yeah. when you were talking about Arex, it's what A R E K K Z Space Gaming a his channel, isn't it? A -R -A -R -A -R -A yeah, he's really, really yeah. helpful. If you do want to look at Monster Hunter, if you're not too sure, you, you definitely go and check out his channel. He's got a lot of good information there. Right. So before we go anywhere, so for anyone watching. Um, I, I've got a hunting horn, which is a cross between a hammer, which is really used to dizzy and stun monsters. And I, I'd be aiming for the monster's head, which is very dangerous against the Diablos, because that's where he's most powerful. And I can also start oh. buffs. So by, by swinging the horn in certain ways, I can make tunes up. Well, they can start to give attack up, defense up, and health up buffs, which is what I'm doing now. So that we can go out fully prepared for the hunt. And as we fight, I will be trying to continue to keep those buffs active so that we benefit from all of these. 
pull items that we've got. So there we are. One more, and then we're ready. Yeah. yeah. So that's another right, good thing, a like good a little bit of um, teamwork, because I, I, I quite like a support class, so I might try the horn. I haven't really tried it yet. The horn? But, like is... in other games, I usually like kind of support classes that I can, you know, get right, cheap buffs and things like that. Yeah, so now the hunting horn is, is one of the hardest weapons in the game to learn. And when I yeah. played Monster Hunter, yeah. I made myself learn it because I was really conscious that I maybe wasn't the best person at a hunt, that I wasn't very good and that I was, you know, letting the side down. So I thought, well, if I learn the hunting horn, if I don't always get all the best hits in, if at least I'm bucking yeah, the characters and the just, players uh, around me, you know? It's just there, you yeah, see I'm where I put something. my marker? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm with you. It's um, that's where his quicksand is that he comes out of. We yeah, well, uh, uh, as I was saying to you earlier, I, like I'm using the bow just now, um, and I've I've been using the uh, the insect glaive quite a lot and um, the uh, switch axe, but I've also dabbled with a few other weapons like long sword, uh, great sword. I had to go with a gun. You know, I've been having a play with everything, more or less. Yeah, which is good, because a lot um, of people don't. They sort of stick to just one. And I think one. it's really good for variety and also, like, adapting to um, the situation, which is, is really, really good. Like, I enjoy that in Battlefield, going all the different classes to, um, to sort of, depending on what you're doing. Yes. He's yes, underneath uh, us just under now, I, th I think. Yeah, we need to we go have to in make the them things the scream, don't we? Yeah, that's and he easy. Can come up. Done. If, we, if I fire a flash pod at the, those I've in the air... I've got screamer pods. Um, yeah, a screamer pod might work. Let me just see if I can... No, that won't work. So... If we make them scream... Two, here he comes. He should. He should. Right, follow me. I'm gonna go and find him. There he is. Right, he's in the tunnel, and I'm gonna go and get in the tunnel and get him. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going down there now. There he is. Um, th there is in-game um, chat in this, you, you know, if, it, if, it, if it's like me and Peter friends, but if some, um, a random player joined us, we could go into game chat and talk to them. Unfortunately, I've had a bit of problems with that streaming and um, recording, so I can't do it tonight, but you, it is there as a feature, so you, you know, and, and I have found that um, other people do talk in this game in the game chat. When I've been on it, I've met people. <coughs> so that's good, because a lot of games they don't. It, it's, it's very no. hard to find other players. But this way, um, I've found to be a lot more social. And um, it's also worth pointing out the gestures and, and all the emotes and things. And, and you can type messages like you did earlier. Cause so if you don't speak English, say, uh, just, you know, so, so someone who didn't speak English on where's now, we we can still communicate with them, like non verbally, which is really good, I think. Okay, so we found the Diablos, and then it's quite a big one. Yeah. He's... Yeah. <laughs> so um, he oh, has god. got enormous oh, horns on him, um, and will hit very very hard. And once he gets you, he doesn't stop. Oh god. That... I've not got my power ammo. What? Oh, what have I done? Um, I must have right, forgot to worry. top it up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to just keep it away at him. Oh, at least he's not too at bad. Least. He's only knocking like a quarter of my health off at a time. Oh, good lord! Like, not even right. Well, we're lucky because we've got now. People may have noticed these little cats. Thinking, what is going on? What are these little cats doing? Um, part of the Monster Hunter world lore is that cats are sentient cats, they're not just pets, they're like a, another race called palicos and they like to go out and hunt, they're sort of like a, imagine if pets kind of could stand on your two legs and talk to you, but they still wanted yeah. to kind of be pets, yeah. 
Very strange. Interestingly, um, it just basically means um, cat friend in, in Japanese. Because the eco is cat. Yeah. You know how I think in, the pal is just, just our, wor our word for friend, pal, you know what I mean? It's just like a... It's, it's, that's not necessarily a Japanese word, I don't okay. think, but... Um, I think we need to run away from him now. I think the palicos you know. add a little bit of... Um, Getting very angry. Like, like um, personality and um, a bit of kind of light-hearted relief to the game, don't they? Yeah, and they... I need to get away from him and heal. He's going to cart me. I'm just going to... I'm not gonna cart I'm just going to use some life powder. So, uh, don't worry. So when he goes under, that's the, that's when he's most dangerous. When he when he when he decides it's a good idea to. I forgot I'm I was get supposed on to make more stakes. I think I've got one. Where'd he go? Oh, is he is he run? He, he's run. run off. Yeah. He's went down to his cave. Okay, so this is he's dangerous in here because he hides. And then comes out from behind a curtain. There he is. Yeah, well, he there's some. Uh, try and lure him to that flash, um, flash thing that you can shoot. Right, come on, mate. Come on. I oh, know he's run. He's run off. Come on. Can... Yes, right. Yeah. Right, right. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put a bomb right by him. Oh, that. That might have hurt him. Yeah, I think it did. Yeah, I've seen lots of numbers. You need to break oh, that hole. Swine. I'm just going to try right to there, heal. See, but my, my palico just gave me a, a Viga Wasp, which is like a healing bubble. Right, now we need to keep moving because he's and on the... It, um, I was actually going to select it, but the, the Palico already gave me one. Um, so, the, the, you know, they do have some good AI for kind of helping you out with stuff like that. So, I need to try to hit him in the head, which I'm doing there. That's, I'm doing my job well. I should be providing buffs. And it should probably due, I'm due to recharge the buffs that we just did as well. So let's try to do some of that. Where did he go? See where he went? Um, um, God knows. The scout flies up. Scout away. are leading me to him. That's um, that's, that's new to Monster uh, Hunter, isn't it? The scout flies. Scout flies are new. A bit more accessible, isn't it? Well, the, you didn't really need them in the earlier ones because the terrain wasn't as complicated as it is now. Yeah. So it was yeah. you could find a monster. You the, the the maps were broken up with loading points, which you don't have anymore. And, yeah, um, obviously you a could limitation just quite of the hardware. Sort of go, yeah, yeah, which was also kind of endearing, I have to say, because when you were playing, mm. you'd be like, oh, it's gone to level, it's gone to seven, or it's gone to here, there, and everywhere. Whereas it that's sort of that's sort of gone a little bit. Gone. Um, yeah. But. The scout flies are a very good way of working around that, I think. Oh, you sod. Yeah, I'm trying to see if I can poison him. Ah! Oh, he's come not on. happy. Oh, come, on. come on, come on. Right, come on, you run up. away because he's going to come, come for me now. He's, I poisoned him, so he's really not happy with his life. <laughs> come on, Tariko, give me a Viga Wasp. Come on. I said Viga was cat. Come on. Hurry up. Hurry up. They tend to be like kind of real life cats. They're kind of indifferent <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> oh, right, I agree. No. Ooh. Ooh. Right, we can do oh, a mountain in really. Oh, you bugger. I, I'm trying have really got, hard I'm not to swear on this stream. <laughs> um, really? Have you got. Um... <coughs> oh, right, that's it. That's the perfect mountain opportunity. 
Oh god, oh. he carted oh, me. You okay, so we've I was got... going to go back up to try and mount him, and he whacked me with his tail. Okay, so, um... <laughs> when, you, when you cart, you lose your... Food. Is it? You lose your food buffs. Um, yeah, I'm trying to get this steak. He's, he's on my case at the moment, but I'm not that bothered. I'm, I'm, he's he's yeah. not happy. So, um, obviously we've now got two lives left. My dog's going to annoy so. me in a minute to go out. Well, he's done that. Well, he's done that. My dog wants out now. My dog wants out now. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm trying to think what else there is, the other changes that we were discussing. Uh, um, yeah. To the, to the game. Um, yeah, a lot what, of the what monsters do you think else have are, changed? Um, there's, there's new monsters for sure, um, which obviously if you're new to Monster Hunter, it doesn't really matter. They're all new, if that makes sense. But yeah. they seem to have got a good mix of um, original monsters, things like the Rathalos and the Rathian, which are the sort of the, the poster boy monsters really yeah. it wouldn't be a monster yeah. hunter game without those they were the ones that were there right from the beginning um yeah plus what are called elder dragons um there's a, a law in monster hunter that there's these elder dragons are like monsters but massive and the main story campaign introduces a new elder dragon called zora magdaros which i'm sure you've met and you meet very early on in the game so it's not really a spoiler oh, yeah. to yeah to, oh, to God's say sake. that come on um no. And really ups the ups the epic dow somewhat. It really does go out of its way to yes, I've got on him um, to I need to get on his head. There we are, right to to show that you're on the more powerful consoles and um, yeah, I was gonna say trying to hold well, on right, for dear life here. Something I've just noticed as I was taking the health potion, like. Um, you've got to be mindful of your animations, like how long it takes you to do things, like from attacks to taking potions or anything. Because obviously you can't like move, or, or you can move, but you, you can't run, like when you're taking a so, potion. And that, that's kind of no, kind of similar to Dark Souls as well. So, um, what I've done there is I've managed to get on the monster and I've mounted it, and. Um, chopped off one of its horns, so you, yeah, you can visibly that. see now that it's yep. weak. Yep. It's, it's, yeah. That will help yeah. us yeah. because when he comes to charge, he hasn't got that huge horn now. Um, also, when really we, if good we do that. Win, I, like, I like that it's um, you know it's it's not a health bar or anything. There are damage numbers, but um, you don't have a health bar over him. It's just visual cues no. to how weak he is. So I do really like that about the game. Um, but you, as you say, you are right. The, the game is very much based around very deliberate animations. Um, yeah. It, it, almost like a fighting game. Yeah. In that yeah. You, you have to commit to a special move. So if you do a yeah. in Street Fighter, if you do a Hadouken, you know, a fireball move, yeah. you have to see that whole animation out. And if you if you fluffed it at a time when it's opened you up for a, a retaliated attack, tough. You're going to get comboed. Exactly the same yep. in here. It's by Capcom, yep. who did Street Fighter, and there are obviously a lot of the similarities are there. You, yeah, you definitely, can't really yeah, cancel like animations. Kind of mechanics you have it. to commit. Right, I think he's got tired. He's starting to drool. Can you see? Yeah. He's getting the right up with me, which is good. All right, now would be a really good time to lay a, lay a trap. We're not we're not going to aim to kill him. And I'm going to I'm going to see if I can um, get out the fence up for you. The buff's worn off. Oh, 
really need stamina. Oh, you saw it. Oh, come on. Right, run away. Ah, oh, come run on. Away. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying to get these wasps. There you got we go. Life powder. Now would be a good. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Where is it? Done it. Oh, swine! I can't find it. Oh, did you do it? I, it, uh, I, just, <coughs> I did I just it for you, it. but I, I'm. What about these I'm shop traps? Will I give them that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, hurry up, woman. Put it down. Ah, for God's sake. Come on. Oh, he's went and gone oh, burrow, didn't he? Yeah, he's right. He's going to... Oh, he's, I've just he's wasted gone. that trap. Well, he might come back. He might come back to this area. You never know, so... Oh, will it just stay there? Around. I thought it may be like... Yeah. It will just no, no, stay there now, will stay. it? No, so, nice. Yeah, so you might find that he when, if he does another come runner come over there, there, there... That we, um... Right, so there we are. He's getting tired now, which is a really good sign that we're doing the right thing. Yeah. I mean, uh, uh, the monsters are incredibly well designed, you know, both visually right, well and done. kind of mechanically. Um, so I've just got him again with know, another the, bomb. You know, the, they're, um, they're, like, like you remember them, you know what I mean? They're, they're, they're what a Diablo says, or what a Raffalo says, or what even in, like a Great Jagras. You know, you know, you, it, it sticks with you because I think they're so, you know, they've they've got that um, their own personalities and things. So yeah, and there's a that, lot that of that kind of sticks with you. The, oh, for God's sake! Yeah. I'm gonna, if I, I don't want to cart here. Might cart if I'm not careful. Yeah. I don't know why my cat's not um, firing me with Spiger Wasp. I not getting any of them. Thank you. Right, now he's very angry. So yeah. A good sign. Because yeah. as a general rule, the monsters will rage um, when they are hurt near to death. or near death. Yeah. Um, as a way of kind of upping the ante and the, um, the tension yeah. near the end of the end of every hunt, and I've got a feeling he's kind of getting there now. I'm so, uh, he's very close to casting me. Do you need help? Do you oh, help? he just carted um, me in one hit. Jeez. Right, so we now cannot right, afford to have any more lives, so I can get some more buffs. Oh, turn round. The camera is stuck. So I, what I recommend you do now is you stay as far away from him as possible. See if yeah, I can I've just had the off. meal puts my defence up and my stamina. Um, be good. He's good. in mental mode at the moment. He's not. Yeah. yeah. Oh, jeans! I should have got my power armor wheels there. He's nearly dead. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he might, if we're lucky, we might be able to get him over to that trap again now. He'll, he'll burrow and then disappear. You can see he's coming my he's way. Coming yeah, I oh, think yeah. he's gone. I yeah. see your marker behind him. He's gone underneath he's gone again, underneath. hasn't he? Yeah, so he's we going back to up to where we were before. Yeah. So the thing to do now is, after every hit, stay well away, because we can't afford to die. We will lose all progress Yeah. on this. Now, yeah. it, it's obviously, it's, it's hard to, yeah, he's tired, so he's got him. Um, but he could, he can two hit Do you want kill. to come and, um, you know, bu buff us up first? Do we need to? Like, how do you know if you're still getting buffs? Um, do you have anything about your name? You won't, because you died, because you carted. You lose your buffs if you All oh, right, so oh, right. Bu buff me up. <laughs> Whereabouts are you? I'm, I'm with him at the moment. Just Let me see. Him. Just poisoning well, we've, him. We've been streaming for 
90 minutes, so we'll take an hour off of that. Because we started about 5, oh, didn't we? No, I'm just trying to work out how much time we've got left in this quest. Um, uh -oh. Yeah, we, 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 we yeah. must have only been at this, what, 30 uh -oh, minutes uh -oh. maybe? Something like that. Yeah, you can see by the clock in the corner, but it, it, the problem is that the Xbox Live, when we talk, um, it obscures some of the essential information. All oh, right. All right. You see in the corner, it, it pops up, doesn't it? And you need that info because you don't know how much energy you got left if you're near death. Yeah. yeah. Right. Right, I think he's again. underneath where I am now. Are, are you down with him? Yeah. Ah, right, I'm up above. Yeah, he's gone and done that thing where he just suddenly appears from nowhere and charges. Yeah. I'll come down. Oh, you must have went down the other side. I was looking for you. So I'm just wondering how we can... Oh yeah, I'm going to be behind oh, yeah. you in a minute. Here he is. He's not, he's not very happy. So, you can distract him. That would be good. So like, people can so, see, like, when, if they're watching me now, that I'm doing like a number of different moves with my ball. You know, I'm not just shooting, there's like a, a kind yeah. of triple shot what and um... What armour are you, um, are you using? It's what the are you full using on him? Anja set. Yeah, but you've got different types of ammo. Oh, my ammo, yeah, be, I've just um, got the, yeah. the normal ammo. I, f I forgot to get the Yeah, have you got any of... You need to, you need to be changing your different ammo up. With what other ammo have you got? Nothing. I, I, I forgot to oh. stock up. I've already used right, it well, all. I should have you. done it when I was carted and I forgot. Oh, you sod. Right, run. Now, now's the time to run for me. Oh, Tariko gone and set off his Viger while plumbing away from me. Come on, right, hurry so up. Ah, he's gonna think of me. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Come on. Bring it over here, you stupid mog. Where's he gone now? Oh yeah, he is a sod. <coughs> oh come on. Wish I had more. Oh, Wish I had more things to use. I don't, I don't have them. It's Where's absolutely gotten as well. If, if you either run out of time or you die at, after all of this. Yeah. It's, it's kind well, of like a go. dark it's souls, a you know what I mean? When when you get killed after, um, you know, you, you know, you're nearly there, and then you get killed. It's just absolutely devastating. Yeah, well, I've, <laughs> I've, 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 um, I've, I've been doing my best. So it's very satisfying when you do it, though. That's what I mean. You know, it's 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 a very. Um, it's, it, I, I, it's a shame you don't have the, like the, if we manage the, the it, other ammo. Be like, yes! <laughs> I know. I should have got it. Um, there we are. That's fine. I've got a trank bomb. Is that any good? No. You got anything else? Poison? Anything poisonous? Any any mm, safe or something? No. Stuff? No. no. Uh, let me see what have I got. I've one of them mighty seats. See, we. I'll just put my vital mantle on. Put my vital. I think we might have got a flinch there. Yep. So there we are. That's another part broken. This is all good. Right, now's the time to stay away from him. As I just got hit. Run. <laughs> oh, 
I could do with um darkness blade. My my horn. If I can get him to run into yeah. this boulder, he'll get dizzy. Bad hit. If one of these rations get a bit more stamina. <sighs> but that's the tack up there. That's the plan. Oh, yeah, did he hit it? Did he hit that boulder? I thought he hit that boulder then. Yeah, and like, like Dark Souls as yeah, well, like is, it the, is the stamina bar that you've got to be mindful of as well. Right, keep out of his way. Ooh. Ooh. <coughs> right, there's one of them blinding right, things. Got him. Did I get him? Yeah, got him. That's it. Yeah, got him. Hit him in the face. Yeah, this is right. good. Yeah. Quick. Quick. I need to, I need to let my stamina fill up again. I think we. I think he's he's limping. Now. Oh, you bastard! Oh, you... Right, right. Nearly now's the time to run. <laughs> Very, very difficult not to swear playing this game. <laughs> I'm not sure what rating it is actually, because it's quite family friendly in the sense of, you know, it's all hmm. kind of make believe. Yeah. And I'm it, not too sure actually. There's not a lot of blood or anything. I'm, on, I'm, a, I'm. I have to say, as a 40 year old gamer, um, I am often shocked at the sort of games that parents let their very young children play. I know yeah. somebody who's got like an eight-year-old yeah. boy and lets them play anything. Grand Theft Auto Five, the lot, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. And and I know there are very different views on what's acceptable and parenting is very different for every child, you know, as to what is what is permissible and stuff. But I don't think this is yeah, that bad. Yeah, I think this yeah. is. No. I think this is all right, no. actually, and it's I being cooperative. Right. It kind of. Yeah. I think it, it, oh like God, children right. are very different though, you know what I mean? Like yeah, right, your it, it depends here, on the maturity it? of the child. Uh, what level they're at, but yeah, I mean Yeah. But to be to be introducing children of a certain age to Grand Theft Auto five is a way. No, that's I not think. on that, you know what I mean? You know, um, but a lot of people, a lot of parents don't understand that computer games are very different. It's not Pac Man anymore. Mm. You know? Yep. Yeah. They don't see it that way. Right. We need to see if I can get on him. See if I can mount him. Uh -huh. There's no trap round here. Yeah. I was more me just okay. swearing on the stream, but I try not to. I try and keep it as family friendly as possible. <laughs> but you get that yeah, game into Rex sometimes, don't you? And, uh, <laughs> right, he's, we need to. <laughs> oh, what, to work out. Yeah. oh my oh god! My right, god. That is not... I'm dead. I'm dead. Uh. What? Oh! Oh, you bugger, Soma! Oh no! Oh well! Oh my god! That was three uh, to you, Neil. What to me. That was that was <laughs> close, mate. That was close. Right. Um. So we just wrap up our review. Um, so, so what do you think from from the perspective of um, you know a veteran Monster Hunter? Um, I think it's the best Monster Hunter game that Capcom have ever done. Um, I think well, it's yeah. a real shame well, that they. Yeah. I, th I think it it loses something by not being portable, but it gains an awful lot more by being on the more powerful consoles. Um, it it's got a lot. It could be better. It could be particularly on the Xbox. It could be streamlined a bit more. Um, it could do more to bring new players in, but it does an awful lot more than it used to. 
Um, it's beautiful. It keeps the law. It, it appeals to veterans and to long-term Monster Hunter fans, whilst also bringing in new players. So in that sense, it's a massive success. And I hope it's the start of a very long and very, very successful run on, on the bigger consoles. Yep. Uh, yep. Have we got a score out of 10? Uh, I don't think it's perfect, um, but I think it's, it's damn near close. I would give it 9 out of 10. Right, yep. Well, yeah, I, I agreed with um, you know all your points there. Um, as a new player, I've found it... Um, I mean, the tutorial in the beginning was very good in kind of introducing to, to some of the basics, but I think um, you do have to kind of latch on to an experienced uh, player like yourself or, as you said, look up the wikis and things like that. But if if you are into the game and you want to do that and you want all that depth, you want to keep playing it and, um, you know, and getting good at it, then it's, you know, I definitely recommend it. And as you said, it's absolutely beautiful looking. It's a joy to play. It's challenging. Um, you know, there, there's so much... Uh, Personality, personality and the characters, characters and the characters. you know the palicos the monsters everything so i i'd 100 percent agree with you it's a nine out of ten from me as well fantastic well it's always a pleasure to hunt alongside you um and let's let's aim to take this jab loss down at some point yeah definitely we'll get them next time mate okay. all right guys all right, well, well I'm, i'll take my thanks leave. for joining me pete and um thank you, thank you guys for watching if you liked the video uh, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up only if you liked the video if you didn't like the video thumbs down and um let's say we were streaming this for um special effects as part of the game blast 18 promotion so if you want to donate to special effect it's just giving.com forward slash fundraising forward slash martin dash and i'll drop a link in the um youtube description as well so you let me know in the oh, comments as well what you think of the video what you want to see if you want to see more monster see hunter videos if, and um what sort of monsters uh you, you want us to hunt and what you want to see let us know in the comments okay thanks for joining us guys and i'll catch you again next time bye now bye, bye now.